Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, General Situation of Western Armenia, online session the 6. UN is concerned about the growing tension in Artsakh and welcomes the efforts to de-escalate. The Armenian captives in Azerbaijan continue to remain in human condition. Amnesty International News Agency. Azerbaijani troops remain at the same strongholds. Recognize Western Armenia, Arabkir province. The beautiful work of Armenia silversmiths from one hamlet of Sepian, Armenian art of books in Cilicia. On the occasion of the 135th anniversary of the Armenian cognac production, Yerevan brand factory restarts the legendary Arad blend selected. The National Council of Western Armenia and Chairman of the National Council, Armena Gabramian, invite you to participate in the next Zoom online meeting in French. The theme of the meeting is commemoration of the victims of genocide of Armenian people in connection of the 107th anniversary of the genocide of Armenians. In 1894 and 1923, six successors in the territory of Western Armenia by the Turkish government carried out genocide against the indigenous Armenian population of Western Armenia. Western Armenia was recognized as an independent state by the Allied powers back in 1920. The meeting will take place on April 7th and 19.30 Paris time and 21.30 Yerevan time. To participate, you can simply follow the following link on our official website. Reports of increased tension in Artsakh caused concern. The UN welcomes the efforts made by the OSC Minsk Group in a trilateral format to reduce tension. This was stated by the official representative of the UN Secretary General, Stefani Dujaric. We are concerned about the information about tensions in and around Artsakh. We welcome the efforts of the OSC Minsk Group co chairs in a trilateral format to de escalate. The UN representative was quoted by TASS. The British organization Amnesty International News Agency has published a report in which it also touched upon the Armenian captives illegally held in Azerbaijan and their future fate. The report notes that back in September, the Council of Europe in its report expressed concern about the fact that dozens of captives were being held in human conditions. According to the report, the exact number of those remaining in captivity in Azerbaijan at the end of the year was not known. Dozens of captives continue to remain in human conditions and are subjected to rapid and fair trials. The fate of about 30, this number is great according to some sources. Armenian captives remain unknown. Armed allegations of their enforced disappearance and possible murder, the report says. On the night of March 29 to 30 until 10 a.m., no significant violation of the ceasefire regime along the contact line were recorded and the operational and tactical situation did not change, still remaining tense. This is reported by the information headquarters of Artsakh. Azerbaijan troops remain at the same strongholds and no positional changes have occurred. The authorities of Republic of Artsakh together with the command of the Russian peacekeeping contingent and various diplomatic means continue consistent work aimed at returning the Azerbaijan armed forces to their original positions and stabilizing the military political situation. Western Armenia condemns aggression against its sovereign territory and reminds Azerbaijan to respect international law. Azerbaijan is a state that was informed during the signing of Treaty of Severs that any aggression against Western Armenia, Artsakh and its population calls into question its legitimacy as a state. In the 17th century, the Arabki region of Western Armenia was part of the districts of Sebastia and then in the province of Malatya, then in Harbert and a center in the city of Arabkir. The 19th century at the end was divided into four sub-districts and there were 84 villages. The poor Armenian population were Vashken, Tsakh, Haskni, Ehne, Krani, Anjerti, Ochar, Vang, Khoroj, Mashkert, Kushna and a number of other villages. Before the genocide of 1915, the number of Armenian in Arabkir Key province reached 33,000 people. The province has fertile lands. The inhabitants were mainly engaged in agriculture, gardening, handicrafts, sericulture, and trade. At the beginning of 20th century, the province had 18 schools and 19 churches. In 1915, they were also subjected to mass deportation and massacre. Hamlet of Sepian, a collector of Armenian art and other unique samples, wrote on his Facebook page the beautiful work of the one Armenian silversmith of the late 19th century, the largest of zones available in the collection. The bell depicts Mother Armenia, the Ejmiadzin Cathedral, as well as the famous churches of Asprakan, Varagavang, Naregavang, St. Grigor, and Karmnavor. The master also left the inscriptions banned on his wrist, written in Armenian MP and one written in Arabic with Ottoman letters. 
In Western Armenia, the Cilician Armenian Kingdom existed from 11th century until 3075. In 1151, Armenian Catholicate moved there. Under the Catholicos Nersesh Norhali and Grigor Tara, the art and painting of books flourished and developed in Rome. The Cilician miniature is distinguished only by the feature of its development. In Cilicia in the 12th century, not only the Gospels were depicted, but also other magazines. The Book of Mournful Hymns by Grigor Narekatsi, as well as the Gospel of Skervra, preserved in Lvov Patriarchate, are known. It is assumed that this is the royal gospel on which the great king Levon II swore. Of the Cilician books of the Supper of Hetum II, the Gospel of Martina Daran, number 9422, and the Gospel of Eight Miniatures, with amazing richness at high ascetics level, are considered masterpieces of medieval Armenian book art. Created in 1902, the legendary Arad plant selected become the first Armenian cognac, which became one of the masterpieces of brandy making. In the two-time anniversary year, on the eve of 135th anniversary of the Armenian cognac production and the 120th anniversary of the first Armenian cognac, the Yerevan brand the factory presents the revival of collector's version of legendary cognac. The author of this historical blend is a graduate of one of the authoritative wine-making schools in France, Magartich Mushinians. The revival of selected cognac primarily testifies the historical heritage of the Yerevan brand the factory. Now musical part Armenian folk melody Kakavik The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.